Hello and welcome by the Orchid Saga. Welcome by this blooming update for the month of June. So yeah, you may hear some background noises because I have every kit on. As you maybe can see, it's a very uh, warm, bright day today. So uh, yeah, otherwise it will be uh, way too warm here. But I think uh, we will uh, be okay. I have my mic on. But um, yeah, let's start to uh, have a look at some blooms. So this one uh, was the last uh, blooming update as well there in, in uh, the blooming update of, of May. And you can see it's now going over. We have one kind of nice looking uh, bloom still, but the rest is uh, now going over. And this is the Bialabra rinensinus coral. And let's ha have a look over here. I still have my Pinocchio Alba in bloom. Since I had uh, bought it from uh, the big hall from Landsbergen, I did uh, repot it into cell watering, but it still uh, is blooming. And as you can see, the next bud is almost uh, ready to uh, open up. So it will be in bloom for a while. Then we have this B Bialara Altmar. Has, has freshly opened blooms here. You can see it's still working on some buds. Some are over, all those spikes, and we have still some good looking ones over here. Beautiful colors, I think. Nice reds and pink colors. Uh, purple, I'm sorry. And then over here, we have the Lisa Delight, which is also a very nice red bloom if my camera can pick it up because the background is very bright on this sunny day very nice shaped uh, bloom and the arc itself the bulbs are nearly as big as they should be but i think it's coming back and this spike is not that big as well but still it's blooming <laughs> so it's nice and then we have this beautiful purple no id still uh, blooming let me have a look yeah, I think it's maybe starting to fade a little bit, but not that much. It's still uh, very fresh and beautiful colors. I have a spotlight. Actually, I think it was my first spotlight video on this one because it's so beautiful. Two beautiful strong spikes with a heck of a lot of blooms on there. Oh, and just when I was watering this morning, I saw that my jewel orchids the also the of also it's an alba version is blooming let me zoom in on these little blooms not spectacular but you grow these more for the leaves because the leaves are very beautiful <laughs> but it is blooming then we have a freshly opened one here let me turn out turn out the uh, ventilator first this beautiful one. Let me check if I can get it. There it is. Whoops, that leaf. Also a red one. Yes, I do love my dark red colors. <laughs> and this one is probably, Michael McCarthy gave me the name for this one. Well, at least an idea, but this might be the one here. We're not sure, but I think it's very close. So therefore I give it, a, give it this tag. And then we have one here that is, whoops, I'm sorry, is almost going over. That leaf is in the way. There's one bloom left on this one, so not much. This is the, this is the tag for that orchid. For those who would like to know, then down here we have Naavian, Naavian, Odontoglossum Naavian in bloom. Beautiful blooms, I think. Very, very nice looking. And then we have over here this Miltoniopsis. Some of the blooms are going over, but some are kind of fresh enough. I think they start to lighten up a little bit already. This one was uh, for quite a long time in bloom, several weeks, actually. And as is this one, also a beauty. 
fairly big blooms. It's the uh, Princess Diana, Miltoniopsis, and then I have one of my Her Alexander still in bloom. But also you can see those are uh, starting to fade as well, especially in the purple you can see it. But still nice and blooming of course. Whoops. Down here we have this red purple one. This spike looks kind of okay, but this spike is going over. As you can see, we have some on the floor. <laughs> and then this one, it's such a beauty. It's absolutely beautiful. We have even a big spike over here, which is very hard to film, but it has five spikes and quite some blooms on, on them. It's very beautiful. It is, it's the Ember Scream Puff. Not only up this ember screen puff. And then next to it, it's my uh, recently, uh, well, a few months back, also from the big uh, orchid hall from Landsbergen. And the one that didn't have any roots, but it's growing roots and it has uh, decided to make another spike with three, three beautiful blooms. So I'm very, very happy that I found this one. I had it. Earlier, I think uh, about three years back, but I did lo lo lose it. But yeah, I found it again. There was only one of these guys over there. So I felt very lucky. <laughs> and then down here we have an another rescue. Because I didn't know how to care for Miltoniopsis back in the days. But this one is in bloom as well. I think it's a very beautiful with a nice white edge around uh, the yellow and orange. I think it looks very, very beautiful. So that's for here. Let me check quickly. Yes, I don't skip anything. So let's go inside of the greenhouse where it's uh, quite a bit warmer. <laughs> well, first of all, we have three beautiful blooms on my Psychopsis butterfly. And I even have uh, my Rene Marquez, still a bloom. But it's going over as well. This green is normally way uh, brighter, way stronger. So it had its uh, best days. And this is a freebie, Phenoliopsis. It's just starting to bloom again. And I found a tag. So this is the original tag. This is a freebie from uh, one of my orders. From I, I don't know the, the, where I bought it anymore actually, but I know that it's a freebie. <laughs> Epidendrums still in bloom, a red one, a purple, and a brighter orange, a little bit of yellow orangey colors, and I also have a very bright, more deep orange one. So those will be around for quite a while, I think. And then we have this beauty over here, which is still blooming. It's an Encyclia. Tempest uh, Variation Alba. It's a tag and even some blooms over here. <laughs> I think it's beautiful. I really, really love the colors on this one. Then the Perparata Rubra, we just did a uh, care clap on this one, but it's blooming, so it needs a uh, space in this video, <laughs> of course. And then I, ha then I have above here a beautiful rebloom of this spectacular Cattleya. Look at that, what a beauty. It's a Jurigan variety. I think it's beautiful, and the fragrance is very sweet beautiful strong fairly strong fragrance and it's fairly big bloom i think it's even a bit bigger than last year's let's go over here because up here my yellow birds start to bloom let me zoom in aren't these beautiful i uh, did bought this one from anna maria from miracle orchids and it has one spike open and we have two more to come here over there one is just starting to open up so there are more to come but beautiful 
first time bloomer for me. It's a very spectacle, I think. Then, of course, we have some beautiful fells in the background. And I have to look at this. It's such a beautiful, strong spike. I think it looks very healthy. Beautiful. And some red and orange over there, still blooming. A little less than earlier this year, but still quite some blooms, I think. If you look over here, in the different colors. And the nice thing is that this is more the time of the summer bloomers. So like this Bellina is starting to open up. Uh, it's blooming, I'm sorry. It's, it's uh, open for a few days now, I think five, six days. And the next bud is coming already. And above there is one that's starting to bloom. Again, the, the Violacea. I think I did film it as well. A Leodoro we have here. And then this one is also a beauty. It's a very nice fragrance. This one has, this yellow one. And I bought this because I saw it on Annabelle's from the Orchid Room channel. And this is the tag for it. Sit, very strong, fairly strong citry uh, fragrance. I, I love it. I really, really love it. And these coral corals, I do love as well. Beautiful. And the reds, of course. <laughs> so that's a little bit... Uh, I have a Polaric one here. I'm not into Polaric, I must admit, but I like one to have one, but that's it. I really enjoy these bigger blooms, more open. It's per personal taste, of course. but. That's uh, what I like, and these huge blooms I do love as well. And believe it or not, you guys, this is a uh, very complex hybrid, I believe. This is fragrant, especially on the warmer, sunny days like uh, today. It has a rosy smell. I, I discovered it last week while I was watering, and I literally had my nose in it. It's not very strong, but strong enough, and especially for a fan like this. Yes, it's absolutely, I couldn't believe it. I checked it for 10 times or even more, but it has a beautiful fragrance, a very soft, rosary like fragrance. So it's very, uh, I never did expect that fragrance from this one. I thought my roses are outside in, uh, in the garden. I thought, well, maybe I'm smelling the roses, but no, it's, seriously, it's this one, it's beautiful. So let's have a look over here. This one is losing the blooms, but this is a uh, cherry baby. A uh, ruby, ruby doll. But it's working on a next spike, on the new growth. And then we have the more regular uh, cherry baby, with a beautiful, uh, beautiful spike. It didn't do so well this winter. It lost its roots, but it's back again. So therefore the bulbs are not that big and probably the spike could have been a bit bigger, but still it's quite a spike or spikes, as it say. And the fragrance is fantastic. Beautiful. Then down here we have a Dendrobium phenoliopsis. Esmeralda, I believe is, it's called. I mean, uh, it's a beautiful green, purple, bloom i really enjoy this one beautiful colors i think and then we have this one it's such a beauty one of my favorites absolutely favorites yellow and white it always works for me on a bloom it's beautiful and the shape it's absolutely stunning and such a big spike beautiful and we have another spike here this one is a little bit smaller but it's, as you can see, it looks fantastic, absolutely gorgeous. So the tag is, I cannot get it out. It's the Puff 58 Yellow Fragrance. That's the name. Down here, down here we have still that nobly. I think it's Comet King in bloom with a few blooms. And the rain, rain dance or rainbow dance, something like that. Also blooming. And then we have a beautiful spike on my Spring Eclipse, the Dendrobium Phenoliopsis Spring Eclipse. Fairly large spike. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. <laughs> I love them all, of course. And my 
prima donna, but that one is going over now. Then we have another dendrobium phenolops. It's just opening up. I think it's pink splash, something like that. Beautiful, but as you can see, three spikes. So quite some blooms to come on this one. My snow jade still blooming up here. Also very beautiful. Then I have this. Bellara, no not Bellara, Brushia type. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's facing the other way, so it's a little bit hard to film, but uh, I hope you can get a idea of the very, the yellow is very bright here. I really like it. Also a very beautiful one. So let's go down here. I hope the fan is not making too much noise, but otherwise it's so getting so warm. So we have here the Shelob Tolkien with uh, still blooming with three spikes. And up here I have my Miltonia Buckley Swartz White, also still blooming. One spike is going over, as you can see. But we have still one here. And then I think it was in bloom already on a previous update, but I'm not sure. Maybe a few few uh, blooms as you can see there were uh, meanwhile uh, opened up uh, quite a few more this one is very strong uh, fragrant wise as well it's the Catrin Sock Ancidium Catrin Sock let me grab the tag Mike yes it's a beautiful one I, I really like it these uh, spikes and if I'm correct it's a uh, hybrid it has the sherry baby in it as well but i'm not completely sure to be uh, honest but i think it has the sherry baby as well then next to it we have my mystic maze they decided not to make a new growth but to make another spike which is uh, fine by me it's very very beautiful i think up here well it's almost gone but it's not more uh, yellow and white and i really like it but it's a uh, sunset very old uh, flowers, they are now really going over. And then we have a heck of a lot of spikes coming on different plants. So maybe the next update I will have more, uh, more Miltonias because I have, uh, like I said, quite some spikes coming. We have a lot of uh, Miltonias here, we have one there that's also spiking, but no blooms. And that's the video for today. I'm just checking if I didn't forget anyone. Because I always do, <laughs> strangely. Uh, yeah, white fail there. That's not, not very special, I think. Quickly check, 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 check. Oh, yeah. You see? My fandas. My fandas are still blooming. Even though they are barely blooming anymore. Well, uh, this spike has a few blooms. We have uh, quite some good ones. And that spike is looking uh, still quite, uh, quite nice, I believe. How I, can I forget my fandas? This one is, is one of my favorites. It's beautiful. And the Blue Magic, but that one isn't doing so well. But look at this. Such a beautiful Vanna. Almost forget the beautiful Vanna. And you see, I didn't show this one. It's a Cattleya white pink flower. No, Cattleya epidendrum. I'm sorry. <laughs> So yeah, I think that was really the last one that I needed to film. So this is the update uh, for June. And like I said, I have quite some spikes to come. It's a beautiful uh, season, of course, for the plants to, uh, especially the warm growers. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward uh, to the next uh, blooming update. I hope you guys do too. And of course, as usual, if you have any questions, please let me know or suggestions. And for now, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much. And especially to my subscribers and especially to the new subscribers. I have quite a, quite a few uh, new subscribers, which makes me very happy. So thank you for being here. And thank you all for supporting my, uh, my videos, my channel. And of course, if you like this one, please give it a thumbs up. And I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.